Welcome again. Our next topic on algorithms design and analysis course is spanning trees, minimum spanning tree, crucial algorithm for finding minimum spanning tree. First, uh, what's spanning tree? You remember a tree is a connected and directed graph that contains no cycles. A spanning tree of graph G is a subgraph of G that is a tree that contains all the vertices of G with no cycles. So in the spanning tree, all the uh, vertices from the graph should be included. Uh, a single graph can have many different spanning trees. For example, we have the following graph. Uh, with four nodes and five edges, we can generate different spanning trees. This is one spanning tree. This is another third, and you can generate more spanning trees. Do you see the cost here is 15? The cost here is 13, but the cost here is 11. So they differ uh, on cost. General uh, properties of spanning a tree. A connected graph G can have more than one spanning tree. All possible spanning trees of a graph G have the same number of edges and vertices. The spanning tree, as well as uh, the tree, uh, should not include any cycle. Uh, removing one edge from the spanning tree will make the graph disconnected. Uh, we say a spanning tree is minimally connected. Adding one edge to the spanning tree will create circuit or loop, and we say that the spanning tree is maximally acyclic. Next, we move to minimum spanning tree. Uh, as uh, it's obvious from the uh, name, uh, it's a spanning tree with minimum cost or with minimum weight. A minimum spanning tree, or in the future MST, or minimum weight spanning tree, is a subset of the edges of a connected edge-weighted edge and directed graph that connects all the vertices together without any cycles and with the minimum possible total edge cost. That is, it is a spanning tree whose sum of edge weights is as small as possible. If the edges has a distinct uh, weight, then there will be only one unique minimum spanning tree. And if there are repeated weights, uh, then uh, we may uh, generate more than uh, one spanning tree, but the cost uh, is equal. Now we move to minimum spanning tree algorithms. Uh, as a tree, the spanning tree of uh, in vertex uh, as n minus one edges. How to find the minimum spanning tree? First, uh, if we apply brute force strategy, we have to find all the spanning trees and uh, then find uh, the minimum among these spanning trees. Uh, now we have a question how many uh, spanning tree we can generate from a graph. We have two cases here. If there uh, are no cycles in the graph, then we have to select n minus one edges from n edges. Then uh, the number of spanning trees in this case is equal to n. However, if we have cycles, then uh, the number is greater than that. 
this is the formula how to calculate the number of spanning trees uh, that we can generate from a graph with cycles. It's a combination of uh, here uh, number of edges, number of vertices minus one, and we reduce from uh, this number of cycles in the graph. A complete undirected graph can have maximum n to, to the power n minus two number of spanning trees where n is the number of nodes. What's the complexity if we follow the brute force approach? Uh, on the best case, we have n spanning trees that we can generate and uh, this this number should be multiplied by the complexity of finding one spanning tree uh, it can be n square or on uh, some algorithms in log n so the complexity on this case will be uh, n square log n or even uh, in a cube and the complexity in this case is very high. There are other methods that uh, finds the minimum spanning tree in less complexity. These two uh, greedy algorithms for finding minimum spanning tree are Kruskal algorithm and the Prems algorithm. Kruskal algorithm was uh, developed by Joseph Kruskal uh, in 1956. Prim, Prim's algorithms are sometimes called Jernik uh, algorithm, Prim Jernik or Prim Dextra. Why these names? The algorithm really was developed uh, in 1930 by the Czech scientist Jernik. Then it was uh, rediscovered and published by Prem in uh, 1957 and by Dextra uh, in 1959. So different names, but the most common name is Prem. In the Kruskal, the base we use uh, are edges and extra vertices. The main idea on the Kruskal algorithm uh, is that we sort the edges on as ascending order and we start picking uh, the edges and on each time we have to check if we haven't any cycles until uh, we pick uh, n minus one edges where n is the number of vertices in the graph. The Prim's algorithm attaches vertices to a partially built tree by adding a small cost edges repeatedly. Today, uh, we start with a Kruskal algorithm, and uh, on the next meeting, uh, I will explain uh, the Prim's algorithm. Uh, algorithm steps in a Kruskal algorithm, we have to sort all the edges in non-decreasing order of their weight, pick uh, the smallest edge, check if it forms a cycle with the spanning tree formed so far. If cycle is not formed, include this edge, else discard it. Repeat step two until there are V minus one, edges in the spanning tree where V is the number of nodes in the graph. Here is an example. We start with uh, the minimal cost here one. Then we have cost two, no cycles. Then a three. We cannot pick this three because we have a cycle but our, we can pick this tree. It does not perform any cycle. Then we have the weight four, no cycles. We include it. 
after that, uh, if we choose five, there will be a cycle here. So we cannot uh, pick the edge from three to four or four to three, this one. Next seven, we haven't any cycles. So we can include it. And uh, we have one, two, three, four, five edges and six vertices. So we are done. This is our spanning tree, minimum spanning tree, minimum spanning tree. And the total cost is four plus one plus two plus three plus seven. Uh, 70. Here is another example. Uh, do you see here we have repeated weights? For example, weight four is repeated here and here. Uh, weight two here and here. And even weight eight uh, here and here. And uh, even weight seven is repeated as well. So in this case, we uh, can generate more than one spanning tree. Here is one of, with cost 37 and another spanning tree, the same cost. I think it's very easy for you to obtain the minimum spanning tree in both cases. Here is another example to find the minimum spanning tree according to uh, Kruskal's algorithm. Uh, this is the graph with six nodes and the edges with uh, the given weights. The first step, we sort the edges in increasing order, minimum AB, then BC, then DC, FE, a, B, etc., and last uh, one DF with the maximum weight. After that, we generate uh, sets initially equals to the number of vertices, disjoint sets A, B. C, D, E, F, and this is our disjoint. We start by picking A, D. Since A, D are in different sets, then we uh, join these sets, A, D, and here our remaining disjoint sets, and in the final result, we include A, D and we mark it on it. Next, we pick BC. Do you see BC also, also uh, in different sets? So we join them, BC, uh, and the final result included in the final result, AB, BC, and we uh, take on it. Next, we pick DC. Uh, DC here, DC in different sets. So we join the sets. Now we have A, B, C, D, and E, F are in the joint sets, and we include DC and we take on it. Next, we pick FE. FE, also these two sets are disjoint, so we can uh, take it and we join the sets EF and we include FE in the final result and we tick on it. Next, AB. 
Do you see A, B? They are on the same uh, set, so we do not take it. B, D next. B and D on the same set, so we do not include it. X here. Next, C, E. C, E in different C and E in different sets. So we join the sets A, B, C, D, E, F, and we take C, E here. We take on it. Uh, and this is our final result. We are done since, since we have six vertices and five edges. A, B, B, C, D, C, F, E, C, E. Regarding complexity of Kruskal's algorithm, uh, do you see most time consuming operation is sorting because the total complexity of the disjoint sets operations will be big O E log B. And this is the overall time complexity of the algorithm. Space complexity, big O E V. On the next meeting, uh, I explain the Brim's algorithm for finding minimum spanning tree. For now, thank you.